I think investors and worse, the government telling people to invest $400 a month of their paycheck into investments or again, worse, the government telling people to invest their income into retirement savings is the dumbest, most irresponsible advice imaginable. Hey everyone, this is Cass Contents. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to do a second part of my investing video that I did about a week ago, where to invest in 2024. There was a lot of response. It was a mixed response. And I mean, I totally understand that the the title was definitely clickbaity, but it was it was also really my what I believe people should do and what I'm doing myself. I think that you should talk about what you know works, at least anecdotally, rather than just kind of saying what you, you, you think is true or should be true based on, I don't know, maybe reading theory. Anyway, I read a lot about the government saying that people should be saving their their money, their their paycheck, part of their paycheck for retirement. And then I hear investors saying that people should at the least be investing $400 a month, $100 a week, or maybe it was more than that from their paycheck into investments. And I just want to say this part quickly because this is, it'll go into what I'm, why I'm here. For a lot of people, especially right now, that's impossible. It's impossible. Maybe $100 a month, not, not $400 a month. And if you're putting your investments into, say, ETFs, the, the, the rate of return is not super high for a normal person putting that money in. It's good. If you're super organized, if you start from the time you're 18 and you do it consistently and you're responsible, it's a good thing to do. But for a lot of people that haven't started at 18, that maybe are further behind, it's just, it's it's okay. It's fine, you know, to get a little bit of money back and think about things that way. But it's not necessarily, I don't think, going to be the best thing to do for you today. Same with saving your paycheck. I think saving your paycheck is the most ridiculous thing. If you save what you can from your paycheck, which for most people is not a lot, unless, of course, again, you're very organized and consistent and do it from the second you start working or before. I know some kids are like 10 and they're starting to save, which is amazing. But unless you're like that, putting that good money aside just into savings, it's not going to grow very much, if at all, to have, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, even $100,000 more for their retirement. If you really look at the basic math of what it would cost to retire, it, it, it won't really make much difference unless you then go into having a plan of investing it into a business or something that will grow that money, which very well may be the case. But if it's not, and it's just about having that bit of money when you retire and retirement might be 40 or 50 years long. What I do now as a person who is not financially wealthy or even financially having any kind of disposable income at this point in time. What I think you should do and what I do, or certainly part of what you should do, is invest your money into your health. And when you invest your money into your health, and honestly, it sounds like such bullshit, but it's just good practical advice and it's advice I started taking five years ago and it really changed my life is like eat more vegetables please don't turn off the channel please don't turn this off eat more vegetables we have vegetables we have vegetables they 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 they, they are available to us everywhere 
we don't buy them. And don't tell me that you can't afford them. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, that is an issue. Even if you can't grow them, I can't grow them where I am. I know that it's an issue. But you can buy a big heaping large thing of broccoli for five dollars it might be a lot for broccoli but five dollars for a week and you can say you had that three servings that's it's a lot of broccoli in each serving it's going to make you feel worlds better having those vegetables in your diet and if you're like a lot of people and you know you get home after a long day at the office and you just want pasta and you just know that you're gonna cave and have pasta, then have these vegetables for your lunch when, you know, there aren't really other options. I mean, a lot of people eat at their desks. They don't go out and have those healthy meals. That's what I do. Have those healthy meals for your lunches and that way you get them in and then, you know, you go home and you have the tasty dinners. Not that dinners can't be healthy, but, you know, if you know you're going to have the pasta or on the weekend, you know you're going to have the pasta and you're not going to have the vegetables and have them healthy lunches, just find ways to get them in or do smoothies. Like, I'm not really into smoothies. I don't really want to spend my vegetable money on blending my vegetables unless I had a lot of extra money. Like, I want to use at this point the, the money I do have for vegetables on making, you know, healthy food. But if you're into doing it the smoothie way, then you're getting the vegetables. So I think that that's only a good thing. Another thing is supplements. Like again, I have endometriosis and suffer from migraines and that kept me bedridden for almost my entire month a few years ago. Like, you know, I was this person that you'd look at and, and you might write off cause I was sick that often. And so I, spend a lot on magnesium, vitamin C. Now I've added omega-3, fish oil, vitamin D, probiotics, electrolyte powder, green tea. But that's good for me, but it's also because I want to. <laughs> and so it's a big investment of the small amount that I make right now. But to me, it's, it's a, going to be a hugely beneficial, worthwhile investment in the long term because it's something that not only makes me feel better now, makes me able to work and do what I need to do now, but it's something that is investing in my, my bones, investing in, you know, not experiencing bone loss as I get older, investing in my back, my, my, um, lung health, my maybe my digestive health, all sorts of things, investing in that so that it's not only good now, but probably better going forward over the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I'm not going to look back on that and say, fuck, I wish I hadn't spent that $200 a month. I'm not going to say that. I'm not saying it now. I... <laughs> I'm so glad I put everything I, I did, time, money, sacrifice by not by way of not eating the, the tasty foods for the two years because it just has meant everything. When you are a person that misses <laughs> one, two, 15, 20 days of your month, in bed because you are so sick and you're able to fix that, reverse that and spend 99% of your days up and healthy with the people you love, that is worth. And you can do it for just a few hundred dollars a month. It's worth, it's worth everything. It's, it's worth everything. It's totally that few hundred dollars a month is nothing. Again, not saying that flippantly, not saying that like, oh yeah, who cares? I mean, I care. It's a big deal. But I think that if people can be given that information to feel empowered to invest in themselves, a lot of times in North America, we are told that we're not able to do that. We're not able to help ourselves feel better and it's just absolutely not tr not true like I'm not trying to say anything always go to your doctor always consult 
your medical health care professional, your mental health professional. Don't listen to me. I'm just some dude spewing shit on the internet, but it's helpful to people. So much of the really helpful information that I've gotten to help myself has been from the internet. And I mean, the internet that pointed me to a book where, where I did this diet that really changed everything, but just seeking out my own information. It has been so helpful to me. It's helpful to people, but again, don't listen to me. I'm not giving any kind of advice. This is just purely anecdotal information. Anyways. So I just wanted to do that follow-up video because, again, I got mixed. Well, I mean, there's always the, like, I'm rambling and crazy comments, which I get because I, I do ramble. But I just thought that maybe it might be helpful if I kind of come on and, and, and try to get across what I'm getting across more clearly, more succinctly than I, I sometimes tend to do because I really do believe in this information. And again, I'm just talking about it anecdotally and what has worked for me investing in. One thing I'll say, Google the benefits again it sounds ridiculous i know how ridiculous it sounds especially when we're used to you know western like food doesn't do anything good for us it's all bullshit like i get it but i encourage you to google the benefits of just cruciferous veg like green veg like broccoli bok choy kohlra i think it's kohlrabi kohlrabi um cauliflower i think not be radish anyway just cruciferous cruciferous veg and look up the benefits of them and how much good they do for your body and there's actually someone who created something called someone who created something called the life diet i believe it's the life diet and that's kind of what i follow for two or three days a month before i get my period and it's helped tremendously with pain again I'm not telling you this. Go and check out this guy's diet. Not my diet, but look it up. It's just very, very interesting. And I noticed those those two days, even one day, where I might be feeling like the endo symptoms are coming on and I'm bracing for the pain. And then I have a day of just eating like the cauliflower and the broccoli and everything. And 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 I, f I feel better. Like, just like I feel the pain. It's just it's not coming. It's not coming on anymore. It's it's amazing. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I would love it if you give this video a like and a subscribe. And let me know how you feel about this in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.